There's already concern about primary school places. Now many secondary schools in England are also at maximum capacity. At this academy in London, they're full, but say they're unable to do anything about it. Well, at the moment, we are completely oversubscribed in every year group. We were built for uh, the capacity that we've got. And like many city schools, we've got very limited outdoor space. So the idea of, a build, of building additional classroom accommodation is just absolutely impossible. On Tuesday, thousands of children will find out which secondary school they get to attend in September. Inevitably, many won't get their first preference, some won't get any of their preferences. Last year, councils in England provided more than 2.7 million secondary school places, but the government predicts almost 3.3 million places will be needed by 2024. And there are wide variations across the country. In Birmingham, only 68.3% of students got their first preference. But in central Bedfordshire, 99.7% got their first choice. It's an absolute nightmare and so worrying because there is just not enough places in school and it's like a lottery. Hopefully he will get in, but we are very worried. Councils want more powers to open schools or force academies to expand, but the government says the system is working. I am confident that we'll have enough school places. One of the first decisions we took when we came into office in 2010 was to double the amount of capital spending on creating new school places because we knew there was an increasing pupil uh, population coming through the system. By law, councils must provide a school place, but they say they'll only be able to do that if more places are created in the future. Leila Hayes, 5 News.